After replacing lead heads and cables to a motive power battery, the next step is to attach the housing. Most motive power batteries use an SB style housing as a power connection. This video will show you how to make a proper SB cable assembly using cables, SB contacts, heat shrink tubing, an SB safety boot, SB housing, and an SB protective cap. Using an SB safety boot and protective cap prevents corrosion and keeps out acid, salt, dirt, and water. For this process, you will need the following tools. A heavy-duty cutter, a small cable cutter, a cable stripper, a crimp tool, and a heat gun. The first step in the assembly process is to determine the length of cables needed and mark with a pencil. This is where they will be cut. Cut to size using heavy duty cutter. Next, trim the ends off the SB safety boot using a scissors or a small cable cutter. Be sure to measure up the safety boot to the cables to ensure an exact cut. Trim a little at a time off the SB safety boot to be safe. Trimming too much will produce a loose fitting SB safety boot and minimize its protective properties. Now slip SB protective cap and SB safety boot onto cables with label facing up. Be sure to slide it down far enough so you will have room to work near the end of the cables. If you choose to use heat shrink for added protection, be sure to slide the heat shrink on after you slide the boot on. Next, you'll need to strip the cable. Size up the cable to the contact to determine the amount of cable insulation that needs to be stripped, then cut it off with a stripping tool. Pull the tool to the end of the cable. Repeat this process on the other cable. Attach the contact to the cable using either Quick Cable's SBC crimp contact or SBF fusion solder contact. In this video, we'll use the SBC crimp contacts, so we'll need a crimp tool to connect them to the cable. Use the chart on the crimp tool to determine the proper die setting for the gauge of cable and style of contact. Open tool and position contact on crimp dies. Crimp each connector twice, crimping near the end of the barrel first. Rotate contact 90 degrees and recrimp over the areas previously crimped. Repeat crimping process on the other contact and cable. For detailed instructions on crimping, see the video entitled Crimp Connectors on QuickHowTo.com. When both contacts are crimped on, it's time to apply the heat shrink. Slide the heat shrink tubing over the crimped barrel of the contact and cable. Use a flameless heat source such as a heat gun to shrink the tubing. To heat uniformly, be sure to rotate the cable. Next, insert contacts into the SB housing using polarity indicators as a guide. You will hear a click when properly locked into place. Finally, slip on the safety boot and SB protective cap. You've just completed an SB cable assembly. For more videos on material handling, visit related sites on quickhowto.com.